Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com, and this is a look at the hardware on the HTC Desire. But first, let's talk about specifications. This is HTC's fastest Android device that they sell right now, which means that the Sense interface works very, very well. We're going to see that in an upcoming video where we go through all the widgets and all the programs. It has a lot of multitasking power. So it's got a 1 gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon processor uh, running with Android 2.1, which is Eclair. It's got a tremendous 576 megabytes of RAM, which, like I said, means you can really multitask a lot with this without it slowing down. 512 megabytes of ROM. It comes with a 4 gigabyte micro SD card installed right into the device. It has an AMOLED capacitive touchscreen. We're going to talk more about that in a second. It's got all of the wireless radios you need, a GPS, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, uh, FM radio, and of course it has HSDPA for high-speed data if you live in Europe. If you're in the U.S., you can only get Edge with this right now, but this is at its core a Nexus One. So if you really want to have the features of the HTC Desire, you can get the Nexus One, which is available on pretty much every carrier in the US right now. Um, it's coming up with Verizon and probably eventually will be on Sprint too. So let's talk about the hardware. It looks pretty much like a Nexus One when you first glance at it, except for a few changes that we're going to talk about, like the buttons. Let's zoom into the top here. Up here we have a light sensor and a proximity sensor, and a very nice touch from HTC is that where these two slits are, where the sound comes out, they actually have polished edges. So if I move it in the light, you can kind of see them glisten. Very nice little touch from HTC. The screen is 3.7 inches diagonal compared to other devices like the iPhone uh, that's bigger. So the iPhone has a 3.5 inch screen, but it's a lot smaller than the HD2, which has a 4.3 inch display. So the resolution of the screen is 800 down and 480 across, so a very high resolution display that's WVGA, so the colors look fantastic. All of the icons are very, very crisp and not pixelated. The screen uses AMOLED technology, so blacks are super black, and power consumption is also improved. I'll turn it on for a sec. You can just see at a quick glance how dark the blacks are. And if I take another device like the HD2, you can kind of get a sense, it's hard to see on the video, but the black is much blacker on this AMOLED display. We're going to talk more about the software later. Let's zoom into the bottom here. And by the way, this is the sort of brownish bronze color. Uh, the Desire comes in two colors, this kind of brownish bronze and also the silver. So you can take a look and it's kind of a nice color, nice touch. Down here we have a few things. We have a home button, menu, back and search, and we also have an optical D-pad, which is actually positioned perfectly for one-hand usage. It has a slight chin on it, so you can hold the phone like so, and it's tilted slightly this way, so it makes it very, very comfortable to use. It also presses inward uh, to act as a selector. So very nice positioning, very nice buttons down here. And this rubbery material that surrounds the buttons continues all the way around the device, so it feels very sturdy in hand. Over on this side, we have a volume up and down rocker. It uses micro USB for syncing and charging. The other side is blank. Here on the top, we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. HTC has held to its promise that all of its devices in the future are gonna have this. The last, you know, 10 devices from them has had the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Then we have the standby button here at the top, which is also adorned in this sort of bronze, slightly brownish color. And here on the back, we have the 5 megapixel camera and the large HTC branding. Again, looking back at the HD2, they've really become a lot, uh, a lot less subtle with their branding. We've got an interesting um, metal texture around the camera. I don't know if you can see that. There are little ridges. It's not as sharp as you'll find on the HD2, which sometimes can scratch a table if you're not careful. We also have an LED flash and a very loud speaker. I found the speaker on this to be fantastic. Down here it says with HTC Sense. Let's pop off the, the battery cover here. Back here we have the 1400 milliamp hour battery. There's the four gigabyte micro SD card that comes with the desire. And of course that is where your SIM card goes. So overall, another piece of stellar hardware from HTC. It feels really good in hand and I think it feels better in hand than the Google Nexus One, thanks to the rubbery coating all around the device. And also because of this nice little chin that tilts the uh, the, the optical d-pad towards the user. So we've got a lot more coming up on the HTC Desire. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw and follow us on Twitter for more and to know exactly when the next video hits. It's twitter.com slash pocketnowtweets. That's it for now.